We move on to the welterweight division. Canada's George St. Pierre, 10 and 1 against the 33 1 and 1 record of Sean Shirk. Take particular note to the reach disadvantage of Sean Shirk. It's a disadvantage standing up, but Shirk is really able to use the shorter arms to his advantage when this fight goes to the ground. Well, Joe, this is not a title fight, but but there isn't a title fight that you could think of that would, would be a better matchup than St. Pierre versus Shirk. This is one of the fights that I was looking most forward to tonight. Oh, I, this is, yeah, absolutely. This easily could be a title fight. These guys uh, right fight? now are in their prime, right? and they are Come at the on, top of the it. division. And the welterweights are underway. Sean Shirk on his back. Sean Shirk with the butterfly guard. He's got double underhooks from his back. Look for Sean to try to sweep George here. George pulls away. Sean Shirk is stand unbelievably up. quick. Quick to shoot, as you mentioned, and quick to escape. Nice leg kick by Sean. When this, this fight on its feet is a definite disadvantage to Sean Shirk. You can see the reach advantage. Yeah, and George St. Pierre is an excellent striker. Again, he trains with David Loazzo, who is one of the premier strikers in the 185-pound division. And George St. Pierre is also an enormous 170-pound fighter. Good leg kick by Sean Scherr. Pierre trying to strike quickly and back away to utilize the reach advantage. There's the shooting technique of Shirk. Very good takedown defense by George St. Pierre, though. Very nice. Forcing Sean Shirk to stand on his feet. Exchange leg kicks. Sean eats a jab. And George goes to take Sean down. Right, when they start to grapple, when they start to wrestle, this is, this is Shirk in his element. It is shirking his element, but however, this is also George St. Pierre's element. He's uh, he's no slouch in any in any faction of the fight. Uh, quicker exchanges you'll never see. Nice front leg kicks by George St. Pierre. Take One of them went a little low. Take your time. You're right, you're good. Herb Dean sure. why is he stopping the okay. action checks? Sean says he's fine. Go again. Staying in the pocket, throwing punches. Exchange knees inside. Nobody really getting the better of these exchanges. Yeah, good defense on display to start this first of three five-minute rounds. It's the first time this fight has gone into the fence. Again, when they're wrapped up like this, Shirk has an easier time getting leverage behind his punches with the shorter arms. He uh, has a little bit of an advantage in that when they're in tight. Nice inside leg kick. But again, nice, kick. nice high kick by George St. Pierre. George St. Pierre looking to keep it on the outside, moves, uses reach advantage. Inside of two minutes in our first of three scheduled rounds. Leg kick and left hook. Sure, continuing to work that leg kick. Oh, oh. nice take to what? Athleticism and power by George St. Pierre. Just lifted Sean Shirk up and slammed him into the fence there. A violent takedown by George St. Pierre. He's so explosive. And I don't think Sean expected him to try to take him down. Boy, the fact that it was St. Pierre that, that took. Shirk down. A total roll reversal here. The short blows being exchanged as we approach one minute here in the first round. Sean Shirk in the butterfly guard. He's just trying to neutralize George St. Pierre here. He's got his hands clasped over his back to hold him down. What he's doing is he's, uh, he's keeping George St. Pierre from raising up and dropping down bombs. Controlling his upper body, trying to do it with uh, underhooks, overhooks, anything he can, just to try to lock a hold 
Georgia's body keeps him from him up his elbows. But it's hard. George is slippery. And he's very strong. Uh, Shurik opened himself up with the left when he started punching from his back. <laughs> nice elbows. Damaging elbows by George St. Pierre. Those were the most effective blows of the night landed by St. Pierre. Those can stop fights. When he wanted to check the time in this first round. It's a 10 seconds now. Combinations. on his back and doing some damage with Shirk on the ground. All right, let's take a look at the replay, some action for the first round. First of all, let's look at the takedown defense of George St. Pierre. I mean, beautiful sprawl. Keeps the fight standing up, and now his takedown. I mean, incredible athleticism and explosive power. Gets Sean pressed up against the fence, feeds him some elbows. Nothing draws your head at all. Beautiful, okay? I want you to jab overhand, right? That's what you're trying to put coming in. What's going on, right? Hot bullshit. Okay, let's go. George St. Pierre was one of the more visible fighters before the event began, bouncing in and out of the ring, drinking in this fantastic sold-out atmosphere. Sean Shirk, on the other hand, did not set foot inside the casino. Ready? Ready? Come on, Spent fight. as much time out of doors training as possible since arriving in Vegas a couple of days ago. The action's fast to start the second round. Again, good right leg kick by Shirk and good punches by George St. Pierre. Sean's got a good left hook in tight. But he has got to get closer. Again, nice takedown defense by George St. Pierre. And George tries to lock up a guillotine, loses it. Good high left leg kick. Yeah, he's got that good, nice front leg switch kick. St. Pierre, again, effective in short combination bursts. He's doing a good job with that jab. Sean Legs, a nice leg kick there, though. George with a spinning back kick, a la his teammate, David Loazzo, used that kick to stop Charles McCarthy. Oh, he took a slip there. Good punches by St. Pierre. Again, this not what we expected. This fight up, upright, and seeming, uh, seemingly to Pierre's advantage. And he's the one that strikes and takes down Sean Shirk. Sean Shirk just seems to be surprised every time St. Pierre takes him down. He looks a little tired, too. Again, he's been out of action for a while. Uh, he has had a fight uh, since his last UFC appearance. He's had many fights, but he's been uh, basically inactive for about a year. He had one fight recently, but it was an easy fight. And that doesn't prepare you for the kind of war that you're going to get when you fight a guy like George St. Pierre. Meanwhile, George St. Pierre has fought tough guys like Jay Heron. And look at this exchange from the bottom. Boy, St. Pierre with an effective combination of fists and elbows. Sean Shirk looks to be in pain. His face, his nose might be broken there. He had a look of severe pain on his face. He's in danger of being stopped here. Referee Herb Dean taking a very close look at him. He's covering up. That's, That's it. it. That's it. He stopped it. Wow. Sean, I believe Sean Shirk has a broken nose. His, his nose is a bloody mess. At 251 in the second round, Sean Shirk could not withstand an assault 
of elbows and fists by George St. Pierre, who is the winner in this welterweight bout. One of those strikes, uh, I don't know if it was an elbow or a fist, we'll have to check in the, in the replay, but you can see the pained look on Sean Shirk's face. I was surprised that fight went as long as it did. Let's take and a, a look. fine job by the official Herb Dean to get in there and prevent Sean Shirk from really getting hurt. Yeah, excellent job. Th there's the elbow right there that did all the damage. You, you see bet. Sean turn away. Yeah, that was it. He's in some serious pain no, there. No, that was exactly the shot, Joe. You you bet. That's the one that really did the damage to yeah, let's Shirk. Let's get a look at that again. Here's the end of the fight. The blood is just pouring out of his face there. That's uh, That's a mess. Let's take a look at the big elbow that started it all off one more time. Here it is, right here. Boom, bang. Sean Shirk just could not get back off the mat. And to make it official, we send it into Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 53 seconds of the second round. For the winner by TKO, George Rush St. Pierre!